Hey guys, what's up? Apple App Store 101 here. Today I have a really quick iPhone application review of Rage. This application is made by ID Software and I thought I'd show it to you. It comes in two different versions, an HD version and a regular version. The HD version has Retina Display Graphics for the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 4. Um, the regular version, which I have, um, is just regular graphics and they look absolutely fine. So anyway, let's open the application and get started. As I said, this is made by ID Software, the same makers of Doom. Um, so you already know this is going to be a great application. They've been around for such a long time. And um, in this game, the graphics are arguably the best I've ever seen on an iPhone or iPod Touch. And it definitely competes with the Sony PSP for sure. Um, so as you can see, I'm going to play this little video uh, so you can get a little taste of what the graphics look like. Alright, so hopefully you guys get the point. And here we are at the main menu. We have play, about, options, and extras. Um, the menu is actually really easy to navigate and that's definitely awesome. So anyway, we'll go into play and uh, we'll play uh, Tenements. This is a level I've already beaten. It comes with three levels, I think. Uh, one, two, one, two. It, uh, three levels. One of them is locked right now. Uh, so we'll go back to Tenements and we'll click start. All right, let's play this quick little video. Oh, you can fast forward it through it. Okay, anyway, this game is actually uh, played through the iPhone 4's gyroscopes, and it works really well for aiming. Sorry about all the glare, um, but you know, it's really hard to try to cut down on that. Okay, so as you can see, we have a few different controls. We have obviously a shoot button, a sort of speed run, as well as dodge button. Um, we have a weapon switch button up in the top left, and then last but not least, we have a reload button. Up in the top center of the screen, we have how much money we get. You get money every time you kill a uh, zombie. And uh, as you can see, this is sort of really similar to Nazi Zombies on the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, it's sort of the Call of Duty type of stuff. So as you can see, these graphics are absolutely stunning um, and definitely some of the best I've ever seen on the iPhone. Um, it's definitely comparable to the PSP if you've ever had one. That's, as you can see, like that zombie just threw some stuff at me and that's where you use this button. Um, so pretty, pretty cool. You also can uh, use a shotgun which works really well, and you have a pistol. To pick up objects, um, you sort of use the aiming mechanism, I guess. So you have to like move around to actually pick up the items, uh, which is not ideal in my opinion, but it still works. I wish you could actually just tap on the ad objects. Mm, that was bad, um, okay. So moving on, as you can see, it's sort of like a first person shooter, but it's not at the same time because it automatically moves for you. And I think that's one of the main problems on a touch screen device is that you can't actually move all that well. And I like this because it just sort of like guides you and it just works out perfectly. And um, it's one of the best implementations I've ever seen. Again, sorry for all the glare. All right, so the game just pretty much continues on and on until you get to the end of the level and until you beat all the zombies. 
So that's all I'm gonna show you for Rage, a really, really nice iPhone and iPod Touch application. I think it's exclusive to the iPhone uh, 4 and the iPod Touch uh, 4 because it obviously uses the gyroscope. And um, once again, this application comes in at 99 cents if you want the standard definition graphics or it comes in at 199 if you want the HD graphics. I actually went with the standard version um, because I actually didn't have enough space on my iPhone. Um, this game takes up a ton of space. Uh, the HD version takes up about 756 megabytes it was, and this one takes about like 500. Um, so a lot of space, make sure you have a lot of space free on your iPhone if you're looking to download this application. So that's really about it for this quick application review, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.